Hi there and welcome to another Park at Adams Boat Sales video walkthrough tour. We are once again on the Hamble and I am standing on a Broom 430. This boat is so special. There is so much space down below on this boat. Such a beautiful aft cabin here. Lovely LED lighting throughout the boat. Huge saloon area and of course a forward cabin as well. There's so many things I want to show you about this boat and so much storage space. It's almost unbelievable. So let's crack on with the walkthrough tour. start off on the stern, let's start off on the bow today. So this Broom 430, as I mentioned, is a 2014 boat and many people think of brooms as being river cruisers and of course they do have dual purpose. They're fantastic on the river due to their space but they're also brilliant on the sea. Fantastic sea keeping qualities and this particular boat is really designed around the sea in mind. It's fitted with twin 700 litre fuel tanks of 1400 litres, gives a huge cruising range on this boat and it's powered by twin Volvo Penta D6 370 engines which give really really good performance to push this large boat along with ease. Thought we'd start off on the bow, I just love the amount of space up here I and mean, you could pretty much have a dance up here. Um, remembering of course that it is currently November and this boat is set into winter mode at the moment so when I say winter mode there are some pad cushions which go across the bow here and there's also a seating area which is in position here which is made up um, from the upholstery which slots into place but of course that's nice and ho at home at the moment in a garage um, out of all this horrible weather that we've been having but that's how that's all set up on front there. All of the deck on this boat is laid to a synthetic um, deck surface, so there's nothing to worry about in terms of maintenance. You've got very low maintenance um, decking system. Of course, you've got an electric windlass. This is operated from both here and also at the helm position, and a beautiful stainless steel anchor. I always love to see a stainless steel anchor. I've got a thing for one of those. Um, you can just about see down there, if you just look down, you've got LED courtesy lighting which runs throughout the whole decking system, and that's a blue LED light so at night this boat will just look fantastic with all of a blue glow above it um, but access all around is brilliant you've got really big chunky fender holders here so your fenders slot into here so you don't need to be carrying fenders all the way back and you've got three uh, two baskets three fenders in each so six fenders can be stored up at the front Another thing I really like is to see multiple cleat options on boats. This is about that size, 43, 45 feet, where you start to get multiple cleats alongside, not just a bow, stern and a midships. And this is what this has got. So you've got a cleat at the front, a cleat here, um, sort of halfway along, um, another one down there by the driving position, another one on the stern, which makes putting um, all of your mooring lines on and your spring lines really, really nice and easy. Walkthroughs are fantastic. You've got, look at this, I've got tons of space here. Some boats are sort of, you know, I move along the walk way here and I say that's to increase the internal space which of course it is this boat doesn't need it it's got so much internal space as well as having an excellent walkthrough you've also got side access here so you've got a gate that just gently lifts up and then if you go down there's a little indentation in the hull and I just go down onto there so I can move myself down onto the uh, onto the pontoon with ease and of course if that's the easiest way of getting on board then you can always have a little step that stays on your mooring that gives you really nice easy access access up to there. Let's walk down the sides. If you stay up there and you can have a look down to different heights. So the, the broom of course is a slightly different design than some of the sports cruisers and flybridges that we've sold. Um, whereby on the broom you come up, you start off on the boat on the flybridge and then you go down into the ship. But what that means is that you have a really nice high bathing platform area. And on this particular boat, in fact what I'll do, I'll just grab the GoPro for a second. So you can see on this particular boat you've got a really large uh, bathing platform and these side steps that go up. So you've got what one, two, three, four side steps that go up. Um, a nice space there for a, a, a outboard bracket just on the side there. Now in terms of what, how I would store a tender on this boat, um, of course you could possibly have something like a Hurley Davit system which could go on the back there um, and store a tender or you could have a tender upright on the back. So you've got plenty of options there. Um, to keep a tender but you can see it's got a high it's got quite a high bit of freeboard up there and then you've got a really nice set of covers which have been replaced recently up there as well and the led courtesy lights extend all the way up these steps as well so you can see little blue lights and of course you have a large panoramic three windows at the stern and of course you've got inside there the aft cabin that i'm very excited to show you half cabin chaise long all the dc distribution it's quite exciting there so i'll show you that in a second so let's go up here, so up those steps, really good grab handles all the way along. 
Um, if you wonder what that's for, that's for the ensign. So you've got a, a special bespoke stainless steel ensign that goes into there. A good crowd handle all the way up. And then you've got this nice cockpit door which just slides across into place. So once you're in, you can pull this and slide it closed so that protects this cockpit area or leave it open there. And then once you're inside, you can see you've got a really nice amount of space. You've got a U-shaped seating area at the back that's plenty big enough for probably six people. You've got a really good table, which is currently in cocktail mode, as I call it. And then you can open that up to be a large dining mode as well. Um, this owner has got a couple of um, director's chairs that he keeps up here. And you can see that synthetic teak is laid all the way throughout this, this cockpit area as well. The storage underneath all of these um, rear seats, and you can see quite a nice pattern on the back here. You've got the broom name, and then you've got a sort of a square, um, quite designery pattern in there. Storage space wise, as I mentioned earlier, is absolutely superb on this boat. And it starts off the moment you walk into the boat. So you've got cupboard space in here, so you've got a bucket in there various ropes etc. I like the fact that the teak is all laid in there as well, it just proves that the teak is all the way through and it does show how much of an attention to detail and quality these boats really do have. Everywhere you've got good solid grab handles, stainless steel fittings, absolutely everywhere. While I'm at the back here I will point out one of the things, I said earlier that brooms have a couple of uses, that they can be seen when it comes to um, river cruising but also when it comes to going out on the sea. With river cruising in mind this has got a foldable radar arch so some of you are thinking about either taking this to the river or perhaps taking this down to the Med through the French canals, which could be a fantastic trip, then you've got the option to hinge the radar arch. So you can see this really big chunky hinge here, that radar arch hinges back and that of course then means that the boat is, um, the height is hugely reduced for going under bridges on canals or inland waterways. Up on the here, you've got a side, you've got side access. So side access. You've got a worktop up here. I'm sure where side access came from? It's because I looked at that door and decided side access. Um, you've got a worktop on here. And you lift that up, and you've got a cockpit bar there. You've got a wet bar with hot and cold water, and then a heated hot plate there, which is a really nice touch for those lovely summer evenings. You've got a fridge in here. I like the blue LED theme. So continuing in there. And now the helm seats, I love the helm seats, because as everyone knows who loves the channel, knows that I love the gadgets. So look at this helm seat. So you've got the helm and co-pilot seat. Let me sit down at the, the helm seat here, and there's a little button here, and if I press the button, I'm going up. Nick said it goes up slowly early, it's very, very insulting on my way. Um, but look at that, that's going up and down, so you can get a really perfect position. And even the back can move, so there's an attachment, the adjustment which is, oh it's just on there, if you lift that up you can move the back forward so you can get into a really comfortable position again with a view of going on extended trips if you're taking this on the inland waterways you could be helming for maybe eight ten hours on a day it wouldn't be comfortable and this gets you into that perfect position in terms of the helm layout as we mentioned this is equipped with it's proper seagoing equipment. So you've got a large 16 inch Raymarine plotter, you've got autopilot, you've got bow thruster, you've got twin I-70 displays. The Volvo Penta D series, of course, you've got the latest generation dials which display all of your engine diagnostics on here, windscreen wipers, um, EDC controls, the latest generation on there, and then your trim tabs, it's a Bennett trim tab system where you've got indicators which show you exactly where your trim tabs are as well, which is great. Everything is fantastically visible and you can just see everything around, but all of your navigation is in an excellent position. You might notice that my feet are dangling a bit, so my feet are dangling, not quite touching the floor. If I was slightly taller, if I was like Jonathan and six foot, then my feet would be nestled in there. Of course, I could lower the seat, to make sure that my, seat, my feet fitted, or I could just bring down here, you've got an extra pad there, and you can see now, even for non six foot people, my feet are nicely planted there on, the, on, the, um, on this pull down. What would you call that? Pull down platform? Platform. Platform, I like that. Um, so a great system here and you've also got fusion systems throughout the boat so you've got lots and lots of um, stereo options. I think it's about to bucket down with rain as we've had about a million gallons of rain in the last few days so I won't take the cover off now but the cover is also a really cool bit of design where you've got these hatches, uh, catches, you unclip the three catches and then this big stainless bar you fold that backwards goes against the radar arch and the cover is then opened up just using those hinges systems so it's a really nice simple design and gets all of this out into the open. 
Of course, the cockpit space is only, I say half the story, less than half the story on this boat, because this boat is all about living space. Let's go down and have a look. Just take our shoes off. And I'm going to start off over here in full lounge mode. So this boat is equipped with so much space. Of course, what's unique about the broom design is the fact you don't have a secondary helm position down here. And I really like that because it means you have so much more space down below that's not taken up by another helm position. So down here, you've got this brilliant chaise long design. And in fact, if you come down here, Nick, I talked about storage space. Literally everywhere you look on this boat, there is storage. So even where you can see my backrest was there, pull this across and you've got a great big storage space in there that you have an iPhone charger charging up for a laptop. So everywhere you look, they have utilized the space incredibly well. There's even a dock port there where you can put an iPad into there and power an iPad system all on there. Nestled in here is a um, Harman Kardon um, sound system. So you've got a sub, you've got a brilliant sound system inside the boat. And the upholstery as well is presented in beautiful condition as you'd imagine for a 2014 boat. But I don't know what the material is, but I'm guessing it's leather, but it's incredibly soft and warm to the touch. So it is all, it's just a really cosy, high quality feel to it. Um, let's start off walking down here. So I'm gonna start with the bow of the boat in the kitchen area. The kitchen is really classy. I talked about storage space. Every single one of these areas here is storage space. It opens up, the drawers are nestled, um, are nestled just in there with all of the cutlery. You've got crockery inside this one. The doors open up fully, so some manufacturers will probably leave it there. Not such good access, so it's really great. Every single space here is storage, even down to pulling that down there. You've got chopping board storage pop that back up. Same on the other side, it keeps trays in there. Um, the fridge is just here, but a really nice amount of work surface. And um, the storage all the way across here. Um, and I, what, something I really like is that just on the back there, they've actually mirrored this area here, which again makes this galley area feel even bigger um, than it is. So it's a lovely space. Even in the floor, you have extra storage space. <laughs> so if I clip this up here, you can see down in there, uh, I don't believe it's refrigerated, but you've got what would be pretty cool storage there to have cans, Cokes, or anything like that. Um, inside here, you open that up to another fridge. So there's so many fridges on board this boat. Just notice that, I didn't even know that was there. Look at that, another drawer. <laughs> Kitchen utensils in that drawer. And then you have what would be considered to be the day heads, which is just in here. This is a really good size space as well. It doubles up as a shower, so you've got quite an ingenious design here with a shower door that basically folds into position, which protects all of the wood and turns this into a wet room in here. But I like things like the countertop sink. Um, I really like the use of the corrie in here. More storage here, more storage behind the, um, the, the mirrors. And I like the window there, of course, you can pull the blind down for privacy. It'd be quite an exposed shower there with that. Um, and of course, you've got electric flush toilets as well. This boat really is presented in just pretty much as new condition as well. I'm struggling to find any marks um, or anything at all on the boat. Um, in the bow, you've got it set up as either two singles or it can be set up as a double. So you've got here two singles and you've got a little infill in the middle there. But what's quite clever is that these two beds can be pulled forward and um, pulled together, which then allows this to be a large double cabin. And little things that I really like as well is that the storage access, you've got access to get into that cupboard on the side. But of course, if the beds were pulled together, you wouldn't be able to get into the side. So they're giving you access to the same cupboard from that bit there as well. I just like the way things have been thought out like that. Um, you've got a green upholstery which works all the way around. You've got LED backlighting on all of the places that just give it a real high-end top but quality boat feel. And even just in little there, look, even little cubby holes again, mm. more storage space. Full length lockers in here as well. Uh, so wardrobes, so if you can open that up there, and that's another wardrobe. I love a wardrobe with a window. Big fan of wardrobes or windows, um, which gets a lot more light into the wardrobe and you can see all of the, uh, the life jackets are all stacked up into there. There's a um, sharp smart TV fitted up there on the wall. And just down there, you can see an air conditioning unit because this boat is fitted with air conditioning. So it's got air conditioning units which are fitted to both of the cabins and also to the saloon area. 
As you'd expect, you've got Ocean Air um, blinds which pull across so you can go into complete blackout mode or you can just have it as a fly screen. And of course, that will open up really nicely there to let lots of air through as well. So that is what would be considered the guest cabin. Well, that's very nice in there. And of course, it's a Jack and Jill arrangement, so you do have access just through there uh, to the heads as well. Close that up. So let's walk on through. Um, underneath the stairs here, you can lift this up and that gives you access in there to the engines. So down there you have the twin Volvo Penta D6 370 engines, uh, as you would guess, 370 horsepower on those each. And you've got access this end and also at the other end. You can see I love the LED lights there inset into the steps. But let's carry on up. This whole floor, of course, will come up to give engine access. So for servicing, works, etc., um, you've got access to the top end of the engines there. Timing was good. It's now started to rain, which hasn't surprised me with the weather we've had recently. Um, I really like this dash panel. So Groom have got this. I'm not sure Apple might have a word to them about this because they've basically tried to mirror an iMac on here, which I think is quite cool. So Broom logo down there, and this turns on and off all of the systems. Um, inside here, you've got more space. So lots of little areas where you can put books, etc. You've got generator controls are in there as well. Another air conditioning vent. Over on this side, there's a button. You press the button and up pops the television. So television mm -hmm. comes up from there. Drop that back down again. The storage lockers all the way through the bottom. And again, there's lots of use of the glass around, which makes this feel even bigger than it is, which really doesn't need it anyway, because it is just vast. Blind wise are really nice and modern. You don't have curtains. You've got LED lighting up behind and you've got these lovely blinds on both sides as well. But let's go down into the what is the master suite. And I love it in here. I go right across to the other side. It'll give you an idea of just how big this aft cabin is. Um, it is voluminous. You've got a really large double bed. Excellent use once again of LED lighting. You've got blinds that are electrically operated on behind the, um, the headboard there, and then also access to the three large windows at the stern, which gives that beautiful view over the Hamble River or wherever you may be. Good headroom height in here. I'm not six foot, but I'm not far off it. Um, so I reckon you've got about six foot worth of headroom height in here. LED lighting throughout. Um, not only is this boat fitted with um, heating, uh, sorry, other way around, not only is this boat fitted with air conditioning, it's also fitted with heating and you have separate heating systems in different rooms. So you've got two heating systems on this and this cabin actually has its own system and that's operated just by the bed there. Um, you've got wardrobe space again everywhere, so you've got drawers here, full height wardrobe space down there, even down to storage underneath this lovely chaise long with the view out the back there, you just, you just forget where the tag was. You've got storage lockers there, same on that space here. You've got a built-in smart television on the wall. And of course, you have, through the use of this lovely sort of Japanese style door, another heads. So this is another heads. You've got full standing headroom height in here. The really nice design on the back there. Um, the toilet, I like the fact it's covered up and you have a seat option there as well. It's a full electric flush toilet. Once again, a countertop sink. Uh, more storage underneath, more storage lockers just inside here, <laughs> everywhere. If there is a panel on this boat, you can open it. It's that simple. So that's a really nice space, but it doesn't have a shower in here. So this is set up purely as a heads. So you might be thinking at the moment it only has one shower on board. Of course it doesn't, because just nestled behind this door is another shower room. If you open up in there, you have a monsoon shower coming from the ceiling. You've got a lovely um, shower head on the side, blue LED lighting in there as well. And of course you have a seat. So it's got its own separate shower room and it is such a practical boat. We talk about every single panel hides something. If you open this panel up here, you have, I don't know what you'd use that for. Is it makeup? Is that a, is dressing that table? Make, I think that might be a dressing table. So you've got your own <laughs> built-in dressing table. Can't say I've ever used one. Um, so you'd put all your makeup and bits in there um, and then you've got, a good height there for the, the mirror. Um, behind this one you have just extra space so you've got more space again for ablutions and things and then behind this one you have your main DC distribution panel for all of the boats so all of the switches on the boat um, are all located just under there. Um, access to the engines you have another engine access just if we go back out here you can lift up this step and you've got, once again, engine access where you can see the, the shaft seals are just down there and you can have access to the gearboxes in the rear of the boat, rear of the engine, sorry. But 
I just think this has got such a nice feel. Sort of, but I'd love to go away for weeks and weeks on end on this boat. Uh, it's just got that sort of feel. So let's go back into the, the saloon area. I've been rushing around, I need, to take a sit. I need to have a little sit down now. So I think that's pretty much covered everything off. Just a quick recap again, this is a Broom 430. So you're talking about a 43, 45 foot flybridge boat, um, but it's presented in a slightly different style than some of the flybridge cruisers we have where you go down below into the accommodation and then up to the flybridge. The flybridge really is integrated into this boat. People think of them as river cruisers, this really is an ocean going broom. It's a fantastic boat. I really, really love it. I think it's got a brilliant use of space. So many little gadgets, little spaces everywhere to hide things. And yeah, I have to say, I think it's fantastic. In the next couple of weeks, this boat's going to be moving to our pontoon. So this will be on the Hamble River. You'll be able to see it between um, Wars Ash and Hamble Point Marina, where we've got about 90 metres of pontoon space where we put some of our stock out there. So if this is a boat that you think could fit into your family requirements for boating, it would be a pleasure to show it to you. Thanks as always for watching. Please do remember to like and subscribe to the video. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks as always.